Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. So I thought I would supplement my user's guide by doing a video lecture series. And today I'm going to look at a painting by Anna Rose Bain. It's one of my favorite paintings by her. And I want to demonstrate how she's framing in her subject, but also using some of the diagonal lines derived from the armature. So I'm not going to draw the armature out. I'll simply just bring it up on this painting. All right, so I have the 14 line grid drawn out. And before I drop any lines, I just want to point out a few things. You first have a diagonal line coming into here with the thigh, this diagonal line here. But you also have this diagonal line locking in this area down here. You have this diagonal line here following the path of the back and the girl leaning over. And then when I drop a few lines, I'll show you how Anna Rosebane is framing in the subject. So I can drop a vertical right here. And remember, you can drop a diagonal, you can drop a vertical or horizontal line wherever two or more diagonal lines intersect. And I could drop one there. I can drop a horizontal line right here where this series of diagonal lines intersects. And it frames in the top of the head there. So again, she's framing in her subject by dropping horizontal and vertical lines wherever two or more diagonal lines meet. I can drop a vertical right here. So now I've framed in this area right here. I can drop a vertical down the center and it also gives me a strong vertical division because it's following this part of the cloth here. There's a vertical and it's coming right up here. And let me just drop a few other lines. And then what I'll do is I'll highlight those lines in blue so they stand out. I can also drop a diagonal line right here from this corner going through these diagonal lines right here and it gives me this angle here but then if I drop a horizontal line right here I can then drop a diagonal line from this corner and it locks in that area. So you can see she's locking in her subject and you have a few more divisions here. You have a vertical right here and you have a vertical here and she's creating verticals in the cloth. I won't point out everything, it's just a few, but then you have another horizontal line right here as well. So just a few divisions. Let me change this to blue though and I'll, f I'll show you more clear what she's doing. So you have it being framed in here. You have a diagonal line running down here. And then you have that horizontal on top, locking in the top of her head. Then you have this vertical coming down right here. So she's locking in the subject there. And then you have this diagonal line coming into play right here. And then this one right here. And there's a few ways you can play this out. But you get the idea you have that vertical right here in the cloth. And then you have this one that actually runs all the way up there. So she's framing in her subject. And then you have this vertical right here going down the center, which I'd mentioned, with this cloth right here. It's creating that division, and I'll bring that to there. But you also have this diagonal line right here being played out with the armature as well, following this part of the leg. And then I believe you have another division right here at the top of the, the kneecap, right there, where that series of diagonal lines meet. And it gives you this horizontal division there. And then, of course, I could bring this up. She's framed in the head. So not only has she framed in the head, but she's framed in the entire body. And she's using diagonal lines and divisions derived from the armature. Let me bring this all the way down. So if I eliminate these lines, it makes it a little bit more clear as to what is going on here in this painting. And this is how the artist uses the armature to frame in their subject. So it makes sense. You have to put your subject in a place on the canvas that makes visual sense. And the harmonic armature allows you to do that. So you can see how she's framing in the subject and using some of the diagonal lines.
That's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it as always.